All right. Start off by saying Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem, Rakakodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, or GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, which consists of you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, and the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations that the scriptures describe as the confusion of faith. And we want to say peace and blessings to the elect. We just got a quick lesson through the Spirit, you know. Just going back, uh, reiterating on the fear of the Lord. So without further ado, we just gonna get straight into it. Okay? Come. You want me to start in Sarat? Uh, come. You can start okay. in Sarat. Uh, this is Sarat, chapter 27. And, uh, what verse did you say? I, 20, uh... 20, verse 3. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. This is, uh, Sarat, or the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 27, and verse 3. It says, unless a man hold himself diligently. Can you can you hold on before you continue anymore? Uh -huh. I mean, continue anymore. Come on. When the scriptures say unless, that means if you do it any other uh -huh. way outside of this, something bad is going to happen to you. <laughs> you know? <laughs> unless you do it this, unless you do this, <laughs> Something. This particular way right. that the scriptures say, right? You ain't got nothing but bad times ahead of you, man. Right. Go ahead. Con, it say, uh, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord. Right. Unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, the way you do that, we us brothers in the know, we know this. Is to you have uh, to follow the scriptures, man. You have to follow these scriptures, and you have to uh, be in these scriptures consistently, and you have to do this work consistently. Yep. And precisely, you know, you're gonna get that word Dil diligent. diligently. Uh -huh. Okay, go. Uh, diligent from the uh, Random House Dictionary, the English language, and this is a pretty old uh, dictionary. But you know, why we like using the older, the better. Cause they take out the meaning of words. Con. You know, this is a, a 1966. Well, it's copyright 1954, but I think it was uh, published in 66. Okay, from the uh, Random House Dictionary, the English language, the unabridged edition. It says diligence. Well, I'll bring out diligent, diligent, constant in effort. What a Constant or consistent. Consistent. Go ahead. In effort to accomplish something, a tentative and persistent. When you got a fine woman that you want or that you got, just got this newly a new mm -hmm. relationship, you gonna you you are tentative to her. You better believe it. You paying much attention to her. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> Same thing for this for your uh this your yeah this woman or you showing your fear towards your how about shim mm -hmm. shot you have to do it diligently that's right and the way you uh, uh, express that is through attending to this word showing attention to the word and uh, being consistent in this word go ahead constant in effort to accomplish something. A tentative and persistent in doing anything uh, done or pursued with persevering attendance, attention, painstaking, okay? Uh, uh, a synonym to that word is occupied. What the scriptures say, be ye occupied in prophecy. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Yahweh said, occupy till I come. That's right. That's right. No. Nope. So stay busy. You stay in this. Stay busy consistently yep. until I come and That's until right. I return. Okay? That's right. So having that healthy fear of the Lord is, is very important because the scriptures tell us. That the beginning of uh, fear of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Really, I'll get that real quick. Okay. This is in uh, the book of Ecclesiasticus, chapter 25, verse 12, and it reads, The fear of the Lord 
Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai is the beginning of love. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I quoted it wrong. It said this is the beginning of love. And and uh, faith is the beginning of cleaving unto him. So, Salakia, that wasn't the scripture I was thinking of. Uh, Proverbs 1 and 7. Oh, yeah, come on. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm not going gonna, I'm, I'm to read it, but Proverbs 1 and 7, it tells you that the beginning. Matter of fact, we go ahead and get it. Salakia. That's it. <laughs> we get it. I get it out. So this Proverbs chapter 1 verse 7 it says the fear of Yahweh is the beginning of knowledge but fools despise wisdom and instruction and then there's, there's probably another scripture or some more scriptures I can't think of think of it off the top of my head but that's the beginning of, the, of, of knowledge yep fearing the, the heavenly father and his son yep Oh, uh, I got one. Yeah, uh, go ahead. Ecclesiastes 1 and 14 to say, To fear the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And it was created with the faithful in the womb. That's it. You know? The water. Hey, and, and just to, to go with that, a precept, just to top it all off, so, uh, Wisdom of Solomon 7 and 28 say, For God loveth none but him that dwelleth with wisdom. But how does wisdom start? Through the fear of the Lord. Exactly. So the heavenly father ain't gonna ain't, ain't gonna have nothing for you unless you got fear of him so that you can gain the wisdom. That's it. Uh, yeah, you I'll can go, go back. back to okay. It. This is Sirach or uh, Ecclesiasticus 27 and 3. It says, unless a man hold himself diligently in the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Cut straight to, to the, the point. point. Yes, yep. You know, if you're not diligent in this word, that's how you show that you fear the Most High. Yep. And your you, how you fear. That's how you show you fear your house, and you fear your house. That's right. Okay. Being diligent, and and uh, Peter tells us in the book of the uh, Second Peter one and ten, I believe. Is it Second Peter or First Peter one and ten? I believe it's Second Peter. Let me fact check that That's real it. quick. <laughs> that's it. Make sure I'm on point. All right. Yes, that's it. It says, uh, wherefore, Second Peter 1 and 10, it reads, Wherefore, the brother, brethren, give diligence to make your calling and election sure. For if you do, if ye do these things, ye shall never fall. That's it. Or be overthrown, as we read over here in, in uh, Sirach 27 and 3. Okay? That's right. You got something, brother? Okay, let's go ahead and go to the uh, Proverbs 19 mm -hmm. and uh, 23. Come on. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 19 and verse 23. It says, The fear of the Lord tended to life, and he that had it shall abide satisfied right the <laughs> fear of yahweh by shem yahweh shai tended to life yep so when you fear that that means you're getting into these scriptures and that means you want to live that yeah. means you're doing things to to uh draw yourself near to salvation yep draw yourself near to this uh under the wisdom knowledge and understanding of these scriptures man because that's the life, the life, mm -hmm. you know, as well as this is how I want you to live. Anything outside of the, the, the way the most high laid it down in the scriptures is a uh, death. That's it. This is the only way. This is the only way, man. For to, to, in, in order for you to receive life. Right. Okay. And Yahweh uh, even posed that question, I believe it was in the book of... Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy I choose so. this day, yep. life or death. You say you can follow these commandments and live, and live, or you can disobey them and you die. That's it. And the scriptures say that the wages of sin is, is death. That's right. <laughs> and, and what's sin? Transgression of the law. See how it make that whole circumference, man? All this linked together in one big, one big circle, in order, in the order, man. In an, in, in, a, in an arrangement, okay? That's it. Uh, yeah, you can finish it up. Con. Uh, Proverbs 19 and 23. The fear of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, tended to life. That's it. 
and he that hath it shall abide satisfied. And we feel that way. That's when you right. when you in these scriptures <laughs> constantly, and uh, of course, every brother's uh, consistency is different. Right. But nonetheless, it's still, you got to be consistent. Yep. We all have enough to where we can be in this thing consistent and we can be attentive to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of these scriptures, man. We all have enough for that. Yep. And when you do that, you feel you feel satisfied. When you're not doing it, you feel like shit. And something going to happen to you. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yep. When you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing, when you know what you're supposed to be doing, yep. you feel like shit, man. Yep. You not when you get into this word and you know you're doing uh, right by the how about Shem Yahushai by being diligent. Yep. You feel satisfied. You're like, okay, I'm, right. like, I'm good. I feel I'm about put it in the word. Yeah. I study. I feel. I feel, you. They build your confidence in the faith, man. You know, the scriptures say make your calling and election sure. You got to give diligence to do that, man. And shit. When you do what you're supposed to do, what's required, you don't have that feeling of, you know what? I'm, I got, I'm gonna bring home a bad report card, so I'm gonna catch a whipping. You, you know you're gonna bring home a good report card, so what you gonna get? A pat on the back, man. Okay, just using right. that as an analogy. Right. And your how about Shmi is gonna give the the uh, the men that endure to the end in in diligence. Yep. Uh, a everlasting kingdom. Yep. Man. The um, crown of life. That's it. A Go. glorious crown, man. That's it. And, and every brother should want to strive for that, man. That's 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 the purpose of being in this, you know, to serve you how about Shem with fear, okay? So that you may receive that glorious crown, man. There is a reward. Okay, it, it, and there's a reward if you yeah, don't. Yeah, it's a reward on both <laughs> sides. And the scriptures say that. Peter tells us that. If you read, I'm not going to get the scripture. I'm just roughly paraphrasing. It's in First and Second Peter. Peter said that the men that, that are basically that are wicked, like I say, I'm roughly paraphrasing. He said they should receive their reward. That's right. And I'm sure it's in the scriptures and other verses, mm -hmm. but I remember that scripture. You know? Yep. Everybody got to they everybody going to be held accountable for all their deeds, man. Whether like the scriptures say, whether they be good or evil, okay? And there's not nothing that goes hidden from the heavenly Father Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? Everything that you do is being reported back to the heavenly Father, man. All your thoughts, all your whatever you do. The most high got tabs on it, man. Okay? So knowing that that should scare the shit out of you. You know? That's part of that healthy fear, man. Shit, man. If I don't do this like I'm supposed to, the most high might do me something. Or, or will do me something. You know? What's even colder is if you don't do what you're supposed to do and nothing happened to you. Shit. <laughs> then nine times out of ten, the most high ain't even dealing with you, man. Okay? Because the scriptures say for what son is he... That he chastised it not, right. you know. So hey, it having a healthy fear of the Lord, man, is a is, is the is the first step, man. You have to be afraid of your power, right? You no, know? it's just like with the police. The police get behind you, you get shook up because you scared because you don't want to go to jail and you don't want to get that ticket, man. Okay, same thing with the heavenly Father, man. If I don't do what's required of me. I'm going to get that ticket. Okay? And I believe, like I said, I believe that's in Peter because I don't want to say the wrong scripture. I'm, I was looking for it. Let me, I'm going to plug it in the blue letter real quick. Come and, on. And, uh, see if I was right on, upon that. No. Nope. And you could, you could uh, finish that verse. Okay, come uh, on. Proverbs, Proverbs 19, 19 23. Mm -hmm. uh, back in Proverbs 19 and 23, it says... The fear of the Lord tended to life, and he that hath it shall abide satisfied, man. Mm -hmm. So if you fear the Lord, you you got that sad there's that that, that 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 satisfaction that comes with that of knowing that you've done what you're supposed to do out of the fear of the Lord, okay? 
And then he goes on to say, he shall not be visited with evil. Just the top, you know, that, and that drives home, drives it home, you know? Yep. You won't be visited with evil. Why? Because you was doing what the hell you supposed you feel, to do. You feel your how about some Yahweh Shai. Yes. Right. And I don't want to, nobody, no. if you a man that feel your how about some Yahweh Shai, you don't want to feel the, his wrath, you know? It's a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the Almighty Power, man. Right, and yo, you can get you will get your reward. You can yep. get your reward on the right side or on the left side. Yep. You know, you can get your reward for for doing righteous righteousness acts mm -hmm. or for doing unrighteousness. That's right. And what's righteousness? Keeping yep. the laws. That's right. Keeping what this book say to do. That's right. Unrighteousness is not doing uh, transgression of the law. Yep. Okay. And that was that was uh, that was Second Peter chapter two verse thirteen. You want to bring it out? Yeah, we can uh, start at verse. Really, start at verse ten. Okay, this is Second Peter chapter two and verse ten. But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness. And despise government. <laughs> That's a cut, man. Your government is is, is is set up in order, man. Right. You got a head. You got men under him. So on and so forth, man. So if you despise. <laughs> you got them guys. You, you <laughs> we just ran into them guys. Right. They don't believe in order, man. I, ITR. They despise government. Yeah. A lot of these guys that fall out the truth, they, they, they have a problem with order. That's right. I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of these guys have problems with order that then fell out the truth. Which is mind-boggling because everything the Most High set up, he set up in an order. When you look into the word cosmos, that word means order. Yeah. Or, or an arrangement. Yep, yeah. and they say a body, and you go into the word order, like if you plug yeah. order in on the uh, etymology online mm -hmm. dictionary, it says a body of people living under uh, a set of a set of rules. Laws, rules That's laws. right. Yeah. Okay. So how can you hate order, man? How right. can you want to go against all? Go what to the, the go to the book of jo uh, uh, Joshua. Yeah. Was Joshua not leading the people? Was Moses not leading the people? All through the scriptures showing you order. What about when we had a king? Was the Most High going off? Cause we had King David, King Solomon, and the rest of the kings. King Saul, you know. But Jake say they not going to get under no man. We ain't supposed to be up under no man. The Most High but always said up say that, and, 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 the, and the scriptures say that the Most High does not change. It said there's no variableness in the Most High. And he's, he's immutable. That's right. And immutability. There's no immutability in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Right. So if he had order set up and we were, Israel was under men in the history, what, what, why would he change it? Now all of a sudden, here we are at the end. Ain't no order. Y'all just do it. Y'all right. just go. Brotherly love. Y'all all on the same. <laughs> Y'all yeah. all on the same playing field, man. That's nuts, man. Right. That's freaking crazy. You can go back okay. to Okay. The point is in verse 13, but I want to, you know, build on that. Okay. This is 2 Peter chapter 2 and verse 10. It says, But chiefly them that walk after the flesh in the lust of uncleanness, okay, and despise government, presumptuous are they, self will. I don't want to do it how the, I don't want to go by the order that's set up. I want to do it my, my way. My way. Because I'm a disobedient child. Yep. Dang, self will. Self will. Well, I don't see it like that. I want to do it. I yeah. want to do it my way. I feel like I, I. Yeah, if all like, your sentences start off with I, you need to reevaluate. Yeah, I feel like you feel like chicken tonight. <laughs> Shit, get the hell out of here. Go ahead, brother. <laughs> God damn it, boy. Presumptuous are they? Self will. They are not afraid to speak evil of. Dignities, man. Ain't that something? Ain't afraid. Boy, no fear. No fear. If you had fear of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you would carefully choose your words and when yeah. to speak. Yep, yeah, that's right. 
the scriptures even tell us when you're amongst uh, elders and men of, of high rank in the apocrypha that you're supposed to scarcely speak yes. when asked twice. Few words. He said you get asked twice and you scarcely speak. That's right. Out of what? Fear. Not fear of the men, but fear of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, knowing right. that these are men of the Lord. That's right. Second uh, Peter 2 and 11. Whereas angels, which are greater in power and might, bring not railing accu accusation mm -hmm. against them before the Lord. But these, as natural brute beasts made to be taken and destroyed, speak evil of the things that they understand not. That's it. And shall utterly perish in their own corruption. That's that evil that come to you, man. Right. Okay. And this is coming to you through the mouth of of uh, Peter, through and through an, a, a letter, That's a, right. an epistle. That's right. Uh, verse thirteen, and shall receive the reward of unrighteousness, as they that count it pleasure to ride in the daytime. <laughs> Spots they are and blemishes. Sporting themselves with their own deceivings while they feast with you. These are the ones that don't have fear of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they're going to have their reward. Yep. Which is destruction. Yep. Having eyes full of adultery and that cannot cease from sin, beguiling unstable souls. Wow. And heart. They have exercised with covetous practices cursed children which have forsaken the right way and are gone astray following the way of Balaam, the son of Bozar, who loved the wages of unrighteousness but was rebuked for his iniquity, the dumb ass speaking with man's voice forbade the madness of the prophet. Right, that's going into the account of uh, Balaam and uh, Balak. Yeah, yeah, come right, and mm -hmm. then you know you read about the donkey that stopped. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you can go back and read the account, but you know that's what it's going into. Come on. Okay. And that's that's pretty much the, the mm -hmm. point. You know, the point was made. Yeah, uh, whether you got something you want to add, any scriptures or points you want to make. Uh, I'd like to read that next okay, verse. Okay, okay, okay. Oh. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> it's boiling. Yeah. Number uh, verse seventeen. It say, "These are wells without water. <laughs> ain't no water in you, man. You empty. Right, like the scriptures talk about broken cisterns. Yeah, that's it. Yep, yep. Cause it, you're dealing with a philosophy or doctrine that ain't holding no weight, and." That where 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 is it held that in your mind? That's it. So you the you the broken sister. Yep. It say these are wells without water, clouds that are carried with a tempest, to whom the mist of darkness is reserved forever. Hey man, that should scare the crap out of you, man. To 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 to, to, to that should make you fear the Most High, man, because you don't want to end up like that. And that just means you're going to be put to death, man. Right. And you're going to be shamed when you uh, wake up in the kingdom, man. Yep. Yeah. An you know? Another thing before we get out of here, mm -hmm. fearing the men at the Most High set up, fearing the Most High by uh, uh, honoring the men at the Most High set up That's to right. lead you through the Spirit. Okay? So I, Don't the scriptures say give double honors to those that rule well, man? I mean, why why would the scripture say that? Right. So obviously, it's men that's set up to rule. Y'all just dis y'all some just some bad kids, man. Right. But in their mind, they really believe they that fear, they, right. they mm -hmm. fear the heavenly Father, but they really don't. That's you know? right. Because a lot of these guys, you see them, they don't they not diligent. They videos like the nigga uh, Mac Ten. Oh. Is he showing diligent fear towards the Most High? Of course not. He had to buy some property. I right? come on, you know. Bro. But that's it, man. You know, that's all I. You know, through the Spirit, that's all I got. Come on. Um, 
We hope this lesson was edifying. Right. <clears throat> we want to once again give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakodash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth, and peace and blessings on to the elect. Shalom. Shalom.